welcome to God Given. Today I want to share with you my updated anti-aging routine. I told you guys in a previous video that I would share with you the products I use and if I liked them and if they were working and so that's what I want to do today. So if you want to see that, you know what to do. So the first product that I was using, I told you guys about, it was this Derma E right here, this vitamin C concentrated serum. I like this but it's very strong and I was using it with this nighttime cream, this Derma E Vitamin C Intense Night Cream. So that's why I've been using these. I bought these at, I believe, at uh, Whole Foods. Or, yeah, Whole Foods. I got these at Whole Foods. Okay, so these are kind of intense. I won't say they haven't been working. I'm going to tell you why. But I like them. Um, my skin is sensitive. I have sensitive skin. And so I noticed my skin got real sensitive even more sensitive when I was using these and so if you have sensitive skin and you're using these I'm not going to say don't use them but maybe use it every other day or not as much especially if, you, if your skin starts getting too sensitive as mine was okay so I quit using this and I started using this I don't know how to pronounce this Eclat vitamin C serum this is anti-aging antioxidant that I found. I got this on Amazon. It's only like $12 a bottle. My skin using this. So this is still a vitamin C serum like before. But like I said, as far as the update goes, this one was too a little too intense. So I started using this. So on my side of my face, as you can see, the age spots on my face here. On my face, especially this side. I don't know what the sun is on this side of my face. The sun is really bad on the side of my face. And so since I've been using this, I used this for 30 days. And as I was using this, I was put, rubbing my finger across my face. And I noticed my skin is smoother. A lot smoother. Especially these, these sun spots. These age spots. This one right here, it was raised. I mean, I was, on a, I was about to rush to the dermatologist to have something done about it. But since I've been using this... It's smoother. I could barely feel it. Before it was this big bump or hump. Now I could barely feel it because of this. And these over here too. This one too. They were getting bigger. Or raised. And so I consider these moles. But I guess it's. I don't think it's moles. This is a mole. I've had this all my life. But anyway. So since I've been using this. I noticed my skin is a lot smoother. This age spot up here. I could barely feel it. And so this works. This vitamin C serum. I like this one. Some of them are very expensive. I think this one was around $20. I'm not saying it don't work, but I started using this one. It's a little more liquid. I was really using this one first. And then I started using this one. I like this one better. So you can get this on Amazon. It's very good. So that's what I've been using. That's the update. The vitamin C serum works. I like this one. I'm not saying this one doesn't work. But I really like this one and it's, it's inexpensive. I bought another bottle just to uh, use for my husband. And to make sure I keep some on hand. I bought another bottle. <laughs> right, I haven't even opened yet. I want to make sure I don't run out because I love it. I love that. Also, I was using this Revival Lab. Elastin Collagen Skin Tone. I really like this. As you can see, it's almost gone. And so right now I don't have any makeup. I'm also going to do a uh, no makeup look. For those of you who don't like wearing makeup, sometimes I don't like wearing makeup. It's rare, but there's times. And so I'm going to do that next. So I'll hang around for that. But right here, but I want to show you this. I really like this. It really does. I, my face, it just feels firmer. I don't really know like how much pore shrinking it does, but I really like the way it makes my skin feel. It just feels so good. I really like it. And so I recommend getting this if you want a firmer feel. I'm not really sure how much it has firmed to my face, but I like the way it feels and it seems like it's shrinking my pores. And so, but it's supposed to have collagen in it. And so, supposed to have elastin collagen skin toner no alcohol alcohol free has vitamin A and E that's what I like I don't like putting alcohol on my skin because it just you know unless there's a pimple or something dries you out and so but I still like using this 
I still like using this, so just getting excess off my skin since I'm getting ready to do a makeup tutorial. So yeah, but this, yeah, so I like this. If you want a nice toner for your face, this no alcohol. Also, quickly is this Derma E facial. This is a uh, Derma E Micro Dermabrasion Scrub. Citrus oil blend, dead sea salt, and jojoba oil. Gently buffs away dullness for smoother skin. And so normally I use the apricot scrub, which I still like. But this, I've used this before, and I finally found I got another jar. It smells good. I like the way this smells. And it's the scrub is like a smaller, the beads are smaller than the apricot scrub. And it's a little more, this, this is a little more intense. And so I like this. And you only need real little bit of this. Mary Kay has a good scrub too. When I run out of this, I'll probably get the Mary Kay scrub. Okay, so this is very good. So this, this is also anti-aging because our skin, of course, it sheds. And then so if you don't get that dead skin off, your skin can look like leather or lizard skin and so you want to get that off and so I use this at least once a week my skin is kind of sensitive and so I don't use this every day or even every other day it says use I think two to three times a week I only use it one time a week that's what I use so anyway I want to say that this is also a part of my updated anti-aging routine is this the vitamin C the Eclat vitamin C and then, of course, I still use this at night, this L'Oreal. I really like this. This L'Oreal Age Perfect. It's a cell renewal. This stuff really works. It will, when you wake up in the morning, you'll look refreshed like you had a really, really, really good night's sleep. And so I really like using I still use this. Finally got me another jar of this. And it also smells great. I love it. And so I still use this, but that's my anti-aging routine. For my age, I want to take care of my skin. I know beauty... I believe in our in our society today beauty is overrated looking good is overrated but it gives us confidence on our job uh, when we're working in our communities and everything gives us com confidence when we look our best and so that's why I like looking my best that's one of the main reasons now I'm going to share with you my no makeup makeup routine so this is what I wear when I don't want to look like I have on a lot of makeup or any makeup this is what I wear so I'm gonna start out with this L'Oreal Lumi Gluma Gluma Lotion True Match Luma Glotion in medium glow everything's gonna be in the description box already moisturized and primed my face So when you're doing a no makeup makeup look in general, you want to use neutral colors. And so that's what that's the look I'm going for today. I'm going to be using neutral colors, peachy. We're using going to look like a peach. Peach is, has like peach and a little or, uh, peach orange and a little bit of pink in it. So that's the look I'm going for today. Put a little bit more. I'm gonna put some on my neck. So now that we are glowing, now I'm gonna use this peach color corrector. This is Fenty Beauty. Use this to cover up blemishes. It's a neutral color, so. It should blend in well over the lotion that we just put on. I 
Now I'm going to apply some concealer. This is Fenty Beauty, the number 300. I'm using this because it's not too light because we don't want to go too light. We want to keep things as neutral as possible. So we're not going to do too much highlighting. That's what I'm trying to say. So this is the darkest concealer that I have. Also a beauty tip I want to share with you. As we get older sometimes we lose the volume in our cheeks. If you do, apply the concealer down like this over the areas where you lost your volume and it will give it a little lift. There's a beauty hat for those who are looking for one. So we don't want to do a lot of highlighting. That's what we're not. That's what I'm. Concealer brush. This is Fenty Beauty concealer brush. I'm also going to apply a little bit to my eyelids. Just going to use what's left over on the brush. I don't want to put too much on my eyes. And my, I don't want to go too bright also because my face is a little puffy today because my husband took me to the lake and I ate too many potato chips salted potato chips and you also want to use tapping motions to avoid the streaks that come from the brush just use tapping as well a little bit more of that peach on my eyelids So now using my Kabuki brush, I'm going to blend it. So now I'm going to apply some bronzer. I'm going to use this Fenty Beauty bronzer. This is her Sun Stalker. So I don't want to go too dark. I'm going to use this color, these three right here in the middle, starting out with the darker. We just want to look like we have a little, we've been out in the sun, that's what we're trying to do, but we don't want to go too dark. Because I'm still trying to lose weight, I still want to slender down my face just a little. If you're trying to lose weight like me and get in shape and stay healthy, I post a lot of healthy recipes on my channel. Salad, especially salad, I want to post a lot of uh, salad recipes rest of the spring and summer. And so, if you're into that, you'll see it on my channel. So we're also going to apply a little bronzer to our eyelids to make sure it doesn't crease. We're going to apply a little bit of 
face powder. I'm using this Bare Minerals. Right on my eyelid. Just a dab of do you, a little dab of do you. I'm using the same bronzer. To make the brush skinny and go across. Just brush across. Also, I'm also going to put a little bit on my nose. Just to slender it and to give it that sun kiss to glow. Now we're going to blend that in. Now sticking with the peach theme, I'm going to be using these blush bombs. So we have spiced rose cotton candy and sun kiss we're going to use all three of these on our face i got to warm them up first on my hand i'm going to start out with this sun kissed first right on my cheeks right on the front Put a little bit up here. You guys know how I do. Then I'm going to take this one. This is the spiced rose. Take this one, warm it up on my hand. This is more of a pink color. Put it just right on top, a little bit above the other one. right on top of the other ones. Now using my blush brush, I'm going to write the excess that I warmed up on my hand. I'm going to use it to blend this on my face. Now blend it with the Kabuki brush. Now using my blush brush, I'm going to use this trio. This is Milani Rose Powder Blush Trio. I'm use the pointy side and put it, sweep it right across the top. Well, these are peach colored lashes. I'm taking some a little bit left over and just put it on my cheeks. Before I forget, I want to do my waterline and I'm going to do that and my eyebrows off camera. I'll be right back. So now with the concealer brush, we're going to define our eyeshadow or blush on our eyes using a concealer blush brush using a concealer brush now using the same bronzer palette I'm going to take this shimmer color right here on top using a dense eyeshadow brush just a little bit up here right underneath our eyebrows
We're going to blend it a little bit with our kabuki brush. Just tap it gently. So now I'm going to do our lips. I'm going to use these Milani lip glosses. I'm going to start out with this orange color. It's more of an orange and peach. It's Luminoso number four and Tropical Shine. I'm going to start off with the Tropical Shine. This is what I already have on my lips right now. I'm going to put a little more. So this is like a peachy color. It's a little orange. I like these. They have like that little tingling. I guess it's supposed to plump your lips. Then I'm going to use the pink one. Put it right on top of the other one. cute. I like that. Oh, this one definitely has the keep it full. Both of them are keep it full. They're supposed to make your lips a little fuller. Look a little fuller. Don't forget our setting spray. That's it, ladies. That's my no makeup makeup look. If you like these type of looks, looking natural and having a fresh face, makeup then this is the channel for you please like and subscribe thank you for visiting chat with you later bye bye